so I kind of got lost again. Ha! <laughs> but uh, it's going to happen when you move to some place big and complicated like this. Uh, all I can say is it wasn't wasn't my own mistake and <laughs> that I got lost today and I only got lost like a, a little little bit <laughs> so um, not that I didn't miss a turn or something like that um, construction um, had a detour and the detour was not a good detour um, but you know it took me a little bit to figure out get myself back on track to make it home, uh, uh, so because I went from work to the grocery store, and then I was coming back home, and uh, yeah, so uh, complicated roads here in Las Vegas. Uh, wow, um, they, need, they definitely need a better. Um, public transportation system, especially for as big and as busy as this city is. Um, I, I don't know, maybe they should have thought about doing a subway system when they first established the city. Uh, I, I don't know how you establish one uh, this late in the game, I guess, because um, there, there, there's there's a bus, but it's, it's not... Um, what I would call um, very accessible and uh, hard, you know, kind of hard to use. If, if I were going to try to take it from here to work, um, it's a two hour ride one way. <laughs> and then it's not necessarily running when I would need it. So, um, I'd either have one problem or the other. I'd either have it's not running early enough to get me to work on time or it's not running late enough for me to get from work to home. Um, so, but there is a bus system. I, I I've definitely have lived in states with um, worse public transportation. Um, but this is, yeah, for, for being such a big, complicated city that gets a lot of tourists, um, you would think they would make it a little easier some way, somehow, um, so that you're not stuck in traffic constantly. Or, you know, there might be some place where you could do a park and ride um, or, you, you know, set up something that circles you know, the busiest areas, you know, like every 10, 15 minutes, um, so that people don't have to try to wheel their cars through there or something. Um, and, and def definitely, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy because, you know, I, I work on one side of town. I live on the other side of town. Uh, it's nowhere near close enough for me to walk. Um, and so, yeah, I got no choice but to drive. And normally, you, you know, even when traffic is really bad, I can usually still, you know, get to work on time. Uh, getting off work during rush hour or, or, or you know, whatever you want to call it, um, isn't, isn't a big deal because there's no rush to get home on time um, even though I do worry about Cherokee um, you know being here by herself uh, while I'm at work uh, not that she's not a big girl she is she's a big girl I mean she's not a child anymore but um, I guess it's just a mom thing for you to worry you know she's not a child and uh, you know she's got two phones to to access for help, she's she's got her her own so cell phone now. Plus, we still have a home phone, so you know. And uh, she knows how to call me right away if if she's worried or whatnot. And she's, I think, called work at least once uh, to check on me and 
and make sure I wasn't lost and I was still at work. <laughs> um, but uh, so so I guess she worries about me just as much as I worry about her. Uh, I, I guess you know it's probably because you know right now we're kind of all each other has. Um, you know we're you know in this big complicated place and uh, you know she's she's not she she's not a social person. Uh, I guess that's that's just kind of part of the Asperger's. Um, you know, she's friendly when she is out and about for the most part, but she doesn't really want to be out and about. Uh, you know, getting getting her out of the, the the apartment sometimes can be hard. Um, I was hoping that when the pool opened up, you know, that she would walk down regularly to use the pool. Um, she she did so at a at a prior apartment complex um, that we were in in Utah. And uh, I, I guess she was just more comfortable there for some reason, uh, maybe because it was in Utah. You know, Utah does have a, a lower crime rate than here. Um, and where we were living was, was pretty quiet, not busy like this. And, and uh, definitely everybody, uh, I'm not saying people aren't friendly here, here in our complex, they are. Um, you know, and she she definitely are the walk to the pool from that previous place compared to here was longer, and she used to do it like every day when the pool was open, walk down and 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 swim for a couple of hours. Sometimes be down there all day in the pool, um, but uh, she she's only gone to the pool here a couple of times since it's open. Uh, I, I went with her once. I was gonna go today when I got home but it was just so hot out when I got in the house I was just glad to be in the house uh, plus she's, she's a weird sleep schedule uh, she's like sleeping right now and uh, it's, it's it's bright and sunny out if you can see through the window back there um, so I, I don't know you know what's going on with her she's I know she's she's nervous about living here um, technically wasn't where we really wanted to relocate to as far as leaving Utah is concerned. Um, but as far as what was affordable and more possible to do, this was it. Um, and I can't claim I'm all comfy cozy either. Um, you know, it's big and complicated and there's always construction and people don't know how to drive or they don't care um, whether or not they're driving properly or not. Um, I'd, I'd actually kind of like to see more police cars. Uh, <laughs> might make me feel a little safer. Um, so I, I don't know what to think sometimes, but, um, and, and I guess I'm, not that big of a social butterfly either. I can't say I've really made any friends and, and there are, there are, you know, there are things I'd like to do as far as socializing is concerned, but I, I really don't want to do, have anything to do with anything that's inside a casino and apparently clubs for dancing. There are none outside the casinos. Um, I, I don't get that why there wouldn't be, but, uh, um, I think there's an opportunity there for somebody um, because not everybody wants to go to a casino to have a good time. Um, one, they allow smoking like everywhere. And if you're a non-smoker or like me, a recovering smoker, you, you don't want to be around that. Um, you, you know, uh, I'm not necessarily offended by any other people smoking um but the problem is is addicts like to share <laughs> and that's a, just a fact you know there you, you know if you mention that that you're used to smoke and you're recovering you, you know uh somebody's gonna offer you a cigarette and and depending on how stressed out you might be it can be kind of hard to say no sometimes um 
you know, so, uh, and the, the heck if I need to pick up my pack a day habit ever, ever, ever again. Um, you know, it's, so yeah, don't, don't need to do that ever again. Uh, too expensive, you know, and, and we're poor. <laughs> so, but, um, hanging in there, hours are kind of weak at work and, uh, but um, we're, we're getting by okay so far. Um, you know, I, I hope things aren't going to get too slim at work. Then I'll be worried about taking care of us. And, um, you know, and I'm hoping the miracle of a full-time position will fall into my lap. But I don't technically know whether that'll be easier here than... Than, than in Utah or not, you know, so, um, I've definitely have met plenty of people at work who, who work two and three jobs, and, um, you, you know, I got a, I got a full-time job here at home with my daughter, um, I, 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 I don't need three other jobs on top of that, I just need one good one, um, and, uh, a friend at work, he's retired from the post office and he's recommending trying to get in to be a postal worker. And that's, that is something that I've attempted to do before. It's been a few years since I've tried. Um, and every time I've tried, I always get beat out for people to have that beat out by people with veterans preference. I, I get excellent scores on the testing, but then that veterans preference that they get, you, you know, shoots my good sh scores all to hell, you know, um, so, but he says I should, I should try again, and, uh, maybe I will, but right now, I'm still just kind of settling in right here, and, um, so, you know, trying, still learning my way around here, oh my gosh, you know, and, and then there's always, you know, the toss up of if they, if all they had was a delivery route position, would I want to do that? Uh, I'm not, it's not the walking I'm afraid of. It's the, it's the, it's the heat I'm afraid of. Um, but you know, mail's got to get delivered no matter how hot it is, you know? So, well, it's just thoughts rattling around in my brain and, uh, you know, so, I don't know, just trying to be, stay positive and, uh, focus on the good things, you know, uh, and, um, all I can do is, um, take it one day at a time and keep moving forward, you know, putting one foot in front of the other, and that's what I'm doing. Peace.